Hey guys, welcome to Just Shake or Steer. My name is George and today I'm with you to present a company called Twice Elements and their product, a cocktail shaker set. So a few weeks ago the company contacted me and say, actually asked me am I interested to receive one of their shaker set and share my thoughts about it. So I said yes because first of all I'm a big fan of uh, supporting small businesses and second there's many companies doing shakers but not all of them it's good enough to be used in the professional way or even in your home bar and today we concentrate about your home bar about uh, even coming Christmas because these things inside I think it's a very good presence for him or for her as you can see I have two boxes, one is black, one is pink, the pink one is in development it's gonna be ready very soon, that's what I've been told. But I wanted to present to you the cocktail shaker set and uh, see is it really good enough? And I think so far from what I'm seeing, I've not opened it yet, I've just got the box and I left it on the side just because I don't want to make any kind of a pre-records or any scripts or anything about the products I want it to be a first impression definitely the guys from twice element uh, I made some quality design and put some effort to create a fantastic packaging lovely feel and it's very very safe feel really really safe so let's open and see what we have inside we presume it's a cocktail shaker set and it should be right so when you open the box this is what you get the cocktail shaker set lovely packed in his own porch it's really really nice it's feel already like a nice and good size and heavy right the pink box as I can say it's at the moment just the box because the guys developed the whole packaging but it's gonna be pink nice present or surprise for your loved one if she wants to start doing some cocktails at home okay so let's open here and see what we have very good packaging seriously so far I know I'm repeating myself but I love nice packaging come on everybody likes to open something nice isn't it I'm one of these people so what we have is the cocktail set and we have a small book inside which is quite nice gesture to be honest really nice touch from the guys because most of the time you may buy some kind of a shaker and just to make some cocktails home and uh, people think about it oh should I spend a lot or should I spend less it's very hard to say because <clears throat> I have expensive shakers, I have cheap shakers and uh, both of them doing <coughs> excuse me, both of them doing fantastic jobs. It's all about the weight, about the material, about the quality of the product. So it doesn't have to be extremely expensive, but please don't even go extremely cheap, okay? This is a small cocktail book and it's contained I don't know how many cocktails, I'm not gonna count now, but as far as I can see it's all classic recipes like uh, tequila sunrise, bloody mary, margarita, mojito, moscow mule and etc etc so this is all classic cocktails a good start for you if you've never done any mixology or if you want to learn or you want to experiment in your home bar a good start you need to know the basics before you do something else so here is the cocktail set first of all we have a lovely strainer a good size a good weight, a good spring and the best of all it's one of those which you can put on the shaker and just push to close the airflow and decide what it wants to go in the glass. Secondly I can say from now it's a good one to use to separate the egg white from the yolk because there is a cocktail with egg white and here you can do that with this strainer. The next thing we have it's a muddler fantastic a good stainless steel muddler with a hard nice I don't know how you call this material people gonna call it plastic I don't think it's exactly plastic but it's a very nice and hard with uh, good shapes to help you muddler your limes and mint if you're doing mojito 
so definitely good one a small bar spoon now bar spoons could be very from short to very long like for example I'll show you one of mine you see it's longer but that's not the case to look first of all yes uh, you don't need to be very short to go in the shaker but this one it's fantastic size because it's going exactly in you have enough space enough space to steer your cocktail the good thing is it's, it's pinnable so as you can see the handle of the bar spoon it's not just a straight line it's all twisted so it's easy and nice to spin and rotate when you're steering be careful because there's a bar spoon out there which is absolutely flat and they're horrible I, I can tell you that from experience lovely bar spoon right next part we have oh that's the jigger of course if you want to make cocktails you need two measures because cocktails it's all about the right amount of every ingredients to create something nice and tasty so it's a standard uh, jigger two size 25 mil 50 mil so you can work out some cocktails use uh, 15 or 30 mil but you can basically work out roughly where is 30 mil when you use the 50 and where is 15 when you use 25 lovely and finally the most important things is the shaker so the shaker it's a Boston shaker I'm not gonna go and explain the difference in the shakers but Boston shaker basically it's contained from two cups one is bigger one is smaller so in the small one you can build your cocktail in the big one you put dice then put them together tap them a little bit and there you go see nothing moving and because when you put dice it's gonna shrink it's gonna make even tighter and then you can just shake now the shaker it's a very good weight I like good weight shaker you can feel it if it's a thin or it's a very cheap material it's a very good stainless steel with a nice logo with with a company logo here so lovely what can I say twice element it's fantastic shaker set and uh, I really love it so I think what we have to do really to make it full review let's do a cocktail okay today I'm gonna do a very simple cocktail it's called Amsterdam for this cocktail we need a martini glass it's called Amsterdam because basically it's built on gin but not any gin Geneva gin okay so it needs to be a proper however I don't have at the moment on my shelves so we're gonna make a little riff and we're gonna bring it back to England so we're gonna use a number three gin which is very good quality London dry gin fantastic let's use the jigger the original recipe require 60 ml of this gin so 150 with the jigger then turn around and just put 10 ml so roughly 10 ml it's 20 so basically it's 25 so basically you can make a kind of an assumption where is the 10 mil it's not a big deal if you put a little less or little more okay then we need orange juice 30 mil so we're gonna use the small part of the jigger 25 mil and we're gonna drop another 5 mil there you go we need a control orange liqueur you can use triple sec but original recipe call for a control which is 30 mil as well so let's put 25 and let's put another five okay and finally to bond everything together and give a little bit more push on the orange flavor and the zest we're gonna use Angostura orange bitter you can use any orange bitter I have Angostura one two three four dashes that's all bear in mind that's not potable bitter you can drink it just like that it's a very concentrate so be careful with the dashes it's no problem to put more but it's gonna go more bitter and more more strong on orange flavor and finally we're gonna need some ice which it's down here 
I nearly forgot where is my ice. Okay, so just gonna drop some ice in the shaker. Make sure you're using dry ice. If it's a little bit diluted, throw the water. Make sure you use the dry ice. So how it's working the Boston shaker? Yeah, small tin on the top. Just tap once, and it should be fine to go. Let's shake. Oh, that's a really good Boston shaker. That's one of the things with the Boston shaker. If it's really bad material or it's not measured proper, when you close it because it shrink from the cold, you may have a struggle to open it. But look at that, one touch and it's open. And that's a very good point. Twice element, I can tell you very good point and I actually love it. Very, very good. So why I choose this cocktail? It's just because obviously we can use all the tools to show you, but we're gonna use the strainer. Cocktails made with juices, it's usually strained. Just because if you make a fresh orange juice like I do, you may want, I, I like the actual bits from the orange in the cocktail. I love it, but some people don't like it. So you have to strain it to stop some of the bits coming in or if you want to be really really precise you can use a fine sieve we're not going to use today because i do like a little bit of orange bits in my cocktail so with the strainer let's pour look at that color this is a heaven in a glass i can tell you so originally it's called amsterdam because it's with Geneva gin but because we did it with london dry gin I don't know, should we call it London? I mean, call it whatever you want, guys. This cocktail doesn't really require garnish, but I did a little bit. Orange zest, just gonna express a little bit on the top. Twist it, and I did a little cut in the middle, so you see what I mean now. You open it and you put on the side. And then you have it. So... This is for you guys. And don't forget to check Twice Element. If you want uh, to find out about, about the cocktail shaker and about the whole set, you can check twiceelement.com or you can find them on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Twiceelement.com. And also, as far as I'm aware, they have shop on, Inst on Amazon. So this is quite good. Well, let's try this one. Stop talking. Ooh, yes. Fantastic. So this is it, guys. I want to say first before I leave you and I go enjoy my cocktail. Uh, I've not been paid to do this review, okay? So if anybody has any assumption out there, please forget it. Uh, the guys, as I say, it's a family run business, it's a husband and wife, really nice couple. They got in touch, they asked me if I mind or if I don't mind or if I want to review their shaker. They just sent me the product and I've opened it for the first time in front of you. And uh, I really like it, I really like it. It's, I think they have absolutely stunning product, they put effort and they put lots of work in it to make a nice packaging and actually sell to the people and offer something of high quality on a good price so well done i'm absolutely gonna use this cocktail set and uh, i'm looking forward to create more cocktails with it so if you want a good cocktail set for your home bar or you want to surprise somebody friends or your loved one with their new adventure Check them out, Twice Element, check them on uh, Instagram, on Facebook, I think they, yeah, they have a Twitter, twiceelement.com is the website, and also you can find them on Amazon. Uh, plenty of choice. Go buy yourself one cocktail set and start creating cocktails, okay, or put it on the list for your Christmas wishes. You never know, Santa may bring you one. For now, I'm off. I'm gonna go and enjoy this, baby. See you later. Bye. I love it. I do love it.
You see, I have what they have here. Mine is black. Muddler, doesn't matter. That's different. If you want to make somebody happy this Christmas, check them out. Check them out. Okay? So, this is it, I think. It's really good. Why I can't talk today?